when I was, you know, learning my vocation, I, first of all, the choreographer world is 100% different than, say, the directing world. Dance world is a whole other thing. Um, I didn't have a lot of women, you know, as mentors. At that time, it was Marty Meriden and Martha Henry. And, you know, I think Janet Wright was huge for me as well uh, at that, in that period of time. The career 90s. mentors yeah. or choreograph and, career No, not mentors. choreography. Career directing, mentors. Directing, right. yeah. And I suppose choreography, you know, Brian McDonald obviously was a huge, I did many shows with him and assisted him for many years. You were in many of Brian's shows yeah. or you choreographed? No, he choreographed, didn't you? I was associate with him oh. for many, many shows. Yeah, but I also was in his shows, you know. But yeah, I mean, again, you know, but there wasn't just a lot, there wasn't a lot of women to go, hey, you know, navigate this and navigate then having kids and navigate, you know, everyone's, oh, okay, we're going to do notes at six o'clock. Back then it was like, we're doing notes till eight o'clock at night. I'm like, uh, you know, to the point sometimes I will say back then, honestly, there were times where you kind of pretended that you didn't have kids. You kind of went, uh, sure. Okay. I guess I can stay for another because you wanted to be there, right? You didn't want to miss notes because, because it was your job. And then, then balls would be dropped and it, you know how, and that. And so, how did Donna push forward in that yeah, world that to say, hard. "Well, I'm mean, it's six, I have kids, I got to go home." It was hard. That was hard, honestly. That was. Is that Donna just doing it, or is that Donna going to upper management saying, "Look, you oh, got to cut me some slack never, here." Never, Matt. No, Donna doing it. No, Donna doing it. There was no. There was no kind of going to anybody. How does that. Donna do it? You know, I, I juggled it, and, uh, you know, I have a, my. I have a great partner who, you know, when he was there, you know, because because he's also working, um, we had we had help. You know, we were privileged. We were able to get help with childcare. But did you ever say to the director or whatever it was, you know, I'd love to be here, but I can't. I did. Now. I did. It took me a while to be able to do that. A while is years yeah, or months. I think, yeah. <laughs> well, when I had my kids, and they're very close in age, so I had them close in age. And then I, I was doing a lot of opera, and that was a different world. Choreographing it or directing it? Staging it, yeah. Staging so, so it. It's sort of a hybrid. <clears throat> um, my first entree, and this is a sidebar, I don't want to go off course, but a, 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 my entree into opera, I think one of my biggest champions, to be honest with you, in my career was David William. Oh. Yeah, so it was 1990. That's a long time ago. A champion of your career or a My mentor career. to bringing your talent along? Both. Both. Okay. Brian, I'm sorry, David William was the artistic director when I started at Stratford. And and then quick, and Richard became the artistic director. But when I started there, um, I came to do Guys and Dolls with Brian. And I, musicals, I was more of a concert dancer. It was not really my world. And I was a big city. <laughs> I was living in LA and then moved, and moved back to Toronto. And I got a call and, and said, hey, you know, Brian's interested in you doing this future dance party. I said, oh, well, where's Stratford? <laughs> oh, it's a place outside of Toronto. I'm like, oh, like where? So I'm driving and I, and I think, okay. <laughs> and there's a big sign saying, Port Congress of Ontario. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God small town, which is the very thing I got out of growing up, you know, and um, anyway, long story short, I do the season, I'm also in Julius Caesar, so it's Stratford, you know, often as a performer, you you do more show, more than one show, which is kind of what the beauty of the place is, it's one of the only repertory companies in the world left, so you get to do different shows in sometimes the same day, so now I'm doing the musical, great show, Brian, so much fun. Fantastic. And dancing our faces off. And Brian was challenging as a choreographer. It was, it was always a challenge. It was always exciting. You know, a good challenge. Like, you you know, you, it was hard. Uh, tiny tangent. Sorry, because I want to keep going. Yeah. But tiny tangent. When it's challenging for a dancer, is it challenging your stamina, your skill, your feet, your heart, your brain? What the is content. it? The content. The content. Yeah. Like I want you to spin three times, do a half over, mm -hmm. then do a handover. Mm -hmm. And then you're doing and you headstand. And in the air and then drop you down here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. That's for... Yeah, you just, yeah. That's you not just the mentality. That's the, you know, I learned 
you know, it was my world though. It was right. what I wanted. You okay. know, that, that I wouldn't want to do less. It was, it was exactly what we all wanted to do. We had a great time.